the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome to this Simon Says It tutorial on some ifs in Microsoft Excel. Now if you've never used the some ifs function before, you'll be very pleased to know that it's a much welcome enhancement to that old Excel favorite some if. Now both some if and some ifs are part of the maths and trig group of formulas. So if you're looking for them, this is exactly where you will find them. And basically what some ifs can be used for is to add a range of numbers based on one or more pieces of criteria. And that's really what makes it different from the sum if function, which could really only handle one piece of criteria. So what I want to do in this tutorial is we're going to start out by just doing a basic sum if, and then once we've got our head around that, we're going to move on to using sum ifs and adding in more criteria. So let's start out by taking a look at our data and then reminding ourselves of how to do a sum if calculation. So what I have on the worksheet here is a very basic table. So we have some items listed in column A. So these look to be clothing items. We have the color, we have the size, the amount of revenue, and then the amount of profit. And then what I have is this little table above, and I've just added in some data validation drop down list to help me pick the item, the color and the size. And essentially what I want to be able to do is select anything from this cell range just here and then have the formulas calculate underneath. So we're going to start out with a sum if calculation. So in this first example, I want to construct a formula that's going to allow me to sum the price for all skirts. Now for this, we can use sum if because we only have one piece of criteria. So let's type in sum if and open our bracket and take a look at our arguments. So the first thing it's asking us for is range. Now, when you're thinking about what your range is, bear in mind what your criteria is going to be. So I want to sum the price of all of the skirts. So my criteria is going to be the skirt. So my range is going to be wherever I'm going to find that piece of information. And I'm going to find that information in cells A2 to A19. That is my range. Comma, what is my criteria? Well, I'm looking for the skirt. And in this case, the skirt is listed in cell G2. Comma, my final argument here that's in square brackets, so it is optional. I want to tell Excel what I want it to sum. So when it looks through those items, every time it finds whatever is in G2, which in this case is the skirt, what do I want Excel to do? Well, I could choose to have it sum the profit or I could choose to have it sum the revenue. So in this case, I'm going to choose revenue. So my sum range is going to be D2 to D19. Close my bracket and hit enter. And there we go, it's come up with a total of $44. Now, because I don't have a great deal of information here, what I can do is take a look. So I've got a skirt just there. I have one just here. And then I have a final one just here. And if you take a look down in my status bar, you can see that the sum is 44. So I know that this calculation is actually working correctly. So that is how you can utilize sum if. It works really well if you just have one piece of criteria. But what if I want more than one piece of criteria? That is where I would use sum ifs. Let's add something into this example. I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to sum all of the skirts, but this time I'm going to add in a second piece of criteria. I only want to sum skirts that are gray. So because I have two pieces of criteria, I need to use sum ifs. And one major difference between sum ifs and sum if is the order of these arguments. If you remember when we were constructing the sum if, the sum range argument actually comes at the end. Whereas when you're using sum ifs, you set out your sum range at the beginning of the calculation. So once again, I'm going to calculate the revenue. So let's select the revenue range D2 to D19. My next argument is then criteria range one. So again, we're selecting the range. Now my first piece of criteria is skirt. So my range is going to be wherever I'm going to find that, which is A2 to A19. I now need to specify my criteria and that is cell G2. 
Now I can carry on. It's asking me criteria range two and then criteria two. So I can carry on going. So my next criteria range, well, I want to look for the color gray. So my range where I'm going to find that is going to be B2 to B19. And my criteria is going to be what I have there in cell H2. Now I could carry on going. I'm going to stop just there for the moment with just two pieces of criteria. Close the bracket, hit enter. And there we go, there is my answer. Let's do this again, but let's do it in a slightly different way. Instead of using cell references, I'm going to hard code in what it is that I'm looking for. And I'm also gonna search for three pieces of criteria. So this time I want to find out the total revenue for all blouses that are blue and a size large. So let's type in equals some ifs, open bracket. The first thing we need to tell Excel is what is our sum range while I'm summing the revenue, D2 to D19. The next argument is criteria range one. So our first piece of criteria is going to be blouse. So where are we gonna find our answer? We're gonna find it in the range A2 to A19, comma, and our criteria is going to be blouse. Now this time, instead of selecting a cell reference, I'm just going to type in the word blouse. And remember, if you are using text in your formulas, it needs to go in double quote marks. Comma. Criteria range two. Well, I want to sum the revenue for all blouses that are blue. So my second criteria range is going to be where I'm going to find the answer, B2 to B19. And my criteria is blue. Comma. Criteria range three. My third piece of criteria is that I only want to see the revenue for blouses that are blue and size large. So my range is C2 to C19 and my criteria is size L. Close the bracket and hit enter and there is our answer. So there we've constructed our sum ifs in a slightly different way by using text and we've also used three pieces of criteria. Let's do something slightly different again. This time I want to use sum ifs to sum the total revenue for all blouses where the profit is greater than two dollars. So we need to do something a little bit different here. We need to use logical operators in our criteria. So let's type in equals sum ifs. Now my sum range is going to be the revenue and then I need to specify my first criteria range. So we're summing the revenue for all blouses. So we want to select A2 to A19 and the criteria we're using is blouse. So again, let's just type this in as our criteria. But this time we only want to sum when the profit is greater than $2. So my second criteria range is going to be the profit column, E2 to E19, and my criteria is going to be a logical operator. And this needs to go inside quote marks, and I'm going to say greater than $2. Close the bracket, hit enter, and there we get our answer. And just to finish off, let's do the big shebang. Let's use all five pieces of criteria. Now for this I'm going to use cell references, so I'm going to make a couple of adjustments to my data validation list that I have at the top. So once again, let's select blouse. I'm going to select blue, and you'll notice as I'm doing this, some of these totals are changing. We're going to keep it with size large, and this time I want to sum all of the items that match these three pieces of criteria that have a profit greater than $1.40. So equals sum ifs, open bracket. Our sum range is the revenue. First criteria, A2 to A19. The criteria we're looking for is blouse, in this case G2. Our second piece of criteria is the color, B2 to B19. And the criteria that we're looking for is blue or H2. And our third piece of criteria, our criteria range, is C2 to C19. And our criteria is I2 or size L. And then our final piece of criteria, criteria range four, is that the profit, so E2 to E19, is greater than $1.40. Close the bracket, hit enter, and there is our answer. So let's just do a quick visual check just to make sure that this is correct. So I'm gonna look through this list for all blouses that are blue and size large. 
So there is one just there. And there is another one just there. And I think that's all we've got. So we've only got two entries here. If I look at the revenue, if I summed these two together, that would be $34. So why do I have an answer of 23? Well, because we're only summing when the profit is greater than $1.40. So if I look in the profit column, I can see that that automatically knocks this first entry out and it leaves us with this one entry and the revenue is $23, which is why I'm getting a result of $23 in cell H11. So quite a few different examples there of how you can use some ifs. Of course, there are so many other ways that you can use this and also combine it with other functions to produce some really complex formulas. But hopefully that's just given you a base level of knowledge from which you can build further skills. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.